The wiggler usually comes in a set of five pieces. A collet, a gauge holder, a disc probe, a ball probe, as well as a pointer probe. To use any of these probes you must first insert the collet into your spindle. The first probe that we will be demonstrating is a gauge holder. Note, the spindle should never be turned on with this probe in the spindle. Mount the probe in the collet. Then mount a dial indicator like a last word on the probe. Make sure the dial and the collet are secure enough to hold the dial rigidly. Now you can indicate your vice jaw or your material, making it parallel with your axes. The point probe is mounted in the collet. The collet is tightened. The probe should be centered as well as you can. Turn on the spindle, running it at approximately 1000 RPMs. If the probe spins out of center, like a helicopter, the collet was too loose. Turn off and tighten the collet, and repeat the process. Now that the probe is turning at 1000 RPM, use a soft piece of material like a pencil to make the probe run true to center. If you have the collet too tight, this may be difficult or impossible. If so, stop and loosen the collet and try again. Soon you will get a feel for it. After centering the pointed probe, turn off the spindle. Position it over a scribed line or center punch and adjust your readouts accordingly. The disc probe is used to establish your zero point on your working material. Install the disc probe as you did the pointer probe. Only with the disc probe you leave the spindle turning at 1000 RPMs. Jog your axes to the edge of the material. Jog in slowly and watch for the interaction of the probe, the wiggler, as it comes in contact with the material. Adjust your readouts accordingly. And now move to the other axes. Now do your calculations. You now have your zero point. The ball probe is used to find the center of a hole. Mount and center it like you did the pointer probe. Turn off the spindle after centering it. Now jog the probe over the hole and slowly move it into position. You might use a magnifying glass and a lot of light. Now jog it slowly and be patient. After you are confident that it is centered with the hole, Set your X and Y readouts. To be sure that you have the probe centered over the hole, lift your Z axis. Start your spindle again. If the probe spins out of center, you may want to try the procedure again. 